Every other year, the Michigan Department of Natural Resources conducts a survey to generate an estimate of the gray wolf population in the Upper Peninsula. They can track the wolves by collaring them and giving them the chance to track an individual wolf or its pack using radio signals or GPS. Today, we tracked wolves the hard way. Kevin Swanson, a wildlife specialist for the Bear and Wolf Division at the DNR, does this by searching for wolf tracks in the snow. He uses past experience tracking the Strawberry Lake Pack to find the optimal area to find tracks. Uh, we were uh, lucky to find wolves right away this morning. The conditions weren't perfect because it was a bit windy, um, but we found uh, a minimum of four wolves that were traveling uh, a woods road north of Gwynn, and we followed those for quite a distance. The Strawberry Lake Pack resides north of Gwynn between M35 and County Road 480, just west of the airport. The timing is one of the most important factors. It's best to go after a snowfall to find fresh tracks. With the wind and constant snow the UP has been getting lately, those tracks could have been covered in a matter of hours. The Strawberry Lake Pack seemed to know we were coming, leaving a path about a mile long down a road. To find tracks within minutes of getting to the survey area was quite serendipitous. Well, there's always some luck involved because their territories are so large. You know, the average is about 45 square miles, uh, but it, it can be much, much larger than that. It can be hundred, hundreds of square miles. But this Strawberry Lake Pack, compared to some of the others, I think is a smaller territory that we've seen in the past. But uh, and typically there have only been two animals, and today we found four, so that's a good sign that they that they bred last year and had pups, um, so there's a minimum of four now. This process can take a much longer time, depending on the pack and its territory. We tried to cut over to the west, as that was where the tracks headed, but we were unable to locate any more fresh prints. Tracking this specific pack will take many more visits to the area. Going into the survey this morning, I was unsure of what to expect, but today seemed to be one of the more successful ventures into the cold winter. Later on in the survey process, I will be joining the DNR to grab an update. But for now, the survey continues. In Gwynn, I'm Kellen Buddy, reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5.